Hey guys, welcome back to the channel Daughter of Increase. My name is Nate Denise. For those of you who are new to the channel or who just happen to come across this video, and I post new videos every Tuesday and Thursday all about my faith, God, Christ, and expanding the kingdom of God. Today's video is going to be all about my Bible study resources. A lot of you guys have requested and asked about the resources that I use when I do my Bible studies because a lot of my notes are in depth and I'm going to share with you guys all the things that I use. Um, so what I consider a resource source I guess is anything that has any type of commentary anything that can help me define a word anything about locations anything with maps anything that can really just help me um, understand the verses and the scriptures that I'm reading in the Bible and to be able to um, break them down in a manner that makes it easier for me for my understanding so I have several things here to share with you guys um, but there are three items that I don't have to share with you guys that I'm going to basically tell you about. So the first item is, of course, a study Bible. I have tons of different study Bibles. I have one in the, K, um, the King James translation, the CSV translation. I also have one in the ESV translation, but it's an archaeological study Bible. Um, I love study Bibles, especially the ones that have commentary that are factual information or that give you definitions. I would say, um, oh, sorry about that. I would say be wary about um, the study Bibles you get because the commentary can sometimes or most of the time be opinionated. The ones that I've come across are very much factual. They have factual information, dates, times. They give more information about the culture and things like that. So I like those kind of study Bibles. So definitely study Bibles. I normally have about five Bibles out outside of my um, journaling Bible when I'm doing my Bible study. So that's that the other two are websites the first one is biblehub.com i absolutely love biblehub.com when it comes to breaking down a word in the hebrew or the greek um definition i normally just use biblehub for the text analysis part um just because it breaks it down and it gives you the transliteration and i just love it um and another website just like Bible Hub is Blue Letter Bible. I love Blue Letter Bible for the same thing. The only difference with Bible Hub and Blue Letter Bible is that Bible Hub doesn't show you how to pronounce it. Like you can't hear the pronunciation of the word, whereas on Blue Letter Bible you can. So on Blue Letter Bible, I, I use the interlinear Bible. I think that's what it's called. And then on BibleHub.com, I just use their text analysis. But um, both sites I use for the same reason. They're both phenomenal. Sometimes I use Bible Hub over Blue Letter Bible. And sometimes if I need more information that Bible Hub is not giving me, I will go on to Blue Letter Bible. But um, those are basically the three items that I use um, outside of what I'm getting ready to show you guys. So the first item I have here for you is one of my favorite Bibles. And the video for this Bible is coming. I know I said that so many times. The Bible video review is coming but it's on this the thompson chain reference bible and um i love this i have the paperback copy that it does come in a hardcover and it also comes in a leather bound i believe it comes in the esv and the new king james translation as well i have this the king james um i got this because my mom actually has a copy of this and i love her copy but i love this for all the extra reference stuff that there is like the resources in this thing is amazing let me see if i can show you guys so um i'm trying to flip so all of this here at the back is nothing but resource and i mean you get a cyclopedia you get bible readings you get outline studies of the bible you get studies of prominent bible characters Bible harmonies and illustrated studies. You get archaeological supplement, concordance, a colored Bible atlas. I mean, you get so much in the back of this book and um, this Bible, and I love it so much. I use this a lot. Um, I love this for cross-referencing because there are a lot of cross-referencing. This is a chain reference Bible, so basically, Scripture is proving itself. Scripture is um, analyzing Scripture, which I like because you can't go wrong when Scripture is breaking down its own self if that just made sense but um i love this bible so much i use it a lot and i've been using it differently lately um i mentioned this before but my sis angela over at uh transform through god's word check out her channel and i'll leave a link down below as well but um when we were doing our ruth bible study in um daughter of increase she was using it um very differently from how i was using it i'm trying to find the page here 
for Ruth. Ruth is so small that you can get it stuck between judges. But um, the way she was using it is she was writing in her cross references that weren't included in the um, the Bible because obviously this Bible is not going to have all the cross references there are out there. Like it's just impossible to have a Bible that has every single cross reference for a verse. But um, what she was doing was just writing in the things that weren't there so that she could use this as her cross reference Bible. I actually haven't been doing that lately, but I did it for Ruth. I did it for Esther. Um, I need to really dive into doing it for John and Mark and all that stuff as I study, but I've been taking my time. But I do love this because it breaks down the verses into a simple phrase or a simple word. So those words help me to understand and break down my notes. The cross references are always amazing. And then all the resources in the back, I mean, they really just help me to understand words and stuff like that. Like this is a concordance. It's a Bible. It's a cross reference system. It's a cyclopedia. It's a it's everything in one so this bible is one that i stick to and love a lot i've heard that some people don't care for the bible but i personally love this bible i swear by this bible this is one of the bibles that you will see me have out open when i'm studying the word of god it, it's a must-have for me so definitely the thompson chain reference and again this is in the kjv so that's the first one um let me just throw that so the next item this item is one that I use when I don't feel like going on Bible Hub or Blue Letter Bible or if any of my Bibles don't have any information. And it's a Strong's Concordance. This is the exhaustive concordance um, of the Bible from Strong's. This thing is hefty, you guys. It has every single word <laughs> from the KJV um, translation of the Bible. And it has also the Greek and Hebrew dictionaries in the back of it. I love this thing. The words of Christ are emphasized in red, which I do appreciate. Um, I don't know if I can find anything where... Yeah, it says the words of Christ are emphasized in red. I can't find anything at the moment where that is the case. Is this it emphasized? Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, so they're emphasized, but they're not in red, actually. They're just bold. So the words that are bolded are um, the words written by Christ. But I really do love this. I mean, there are so many words. And let me just show you guys quickly what I mean. So that's the appendix, 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 appendix. I just want you to see, like, how much is in here. Okay, so we are there. So all of this here these are all words that are found in the king james translation of the bible and then all of this here is um the hebrew and greek dictionary and it's split up into two parts if you guys can see um here this first part here is the hebrew and then the second part is the greek um my only gripe is that the font is extremely tiny extremely tiny but um it's okay it doesn't really bother me as much i do wear glasses so it doesn't bother me at all and um i can always just use a magnifying um, app on my phone if that's the case but um this stuff this thing comes in handy a lot this is a hefty one so i don't always have it out that's why i normally just use blue letter bible or bible hub um to look up words and definitions but if you're a hands-on kind of book person definitely get your strongest concordance this is the exhaustive concordance there is an updated version that has like a prettier cover but um i just got this one because it was on sale on amazon i think for it was this price says uh 24.99 then it was on sale for 15.97 i think i paid less than that on amazon so yeah moving on a dictionary um webster's dictionary whether it's the webster's dictionary website one of these like kind of uh on the go kind of easy to read school dictionaries or uh over the top dictionary that you have that kind of like looks like the um concordance just a dictionary on hand because i'm the type of person i look up the definitions in english and also in their original language whether it be hebrew greek or aramaic that's just me that's what i prefer sorry you guys i'm just looking at my phone because i'm recording the audio separately but um you know i like to look those things up and um i find that a dictionary comes in handy and it just fell on the floor and i'm not gonna pick it up but um that's that so the next thing is my love my baby this was actually the first thing that i got um outside of my bible um and it's the nelson's biblical cyclopedic index and i like this because 
it's a compact dictionary and um, concordance in one, which I love. I will say it's not as hefty, but um, it also has word studies in here. So like if you're looking up like humility, there's a word study on there. You have humble, love. Um, it's a really good one. There are definitions. So it'll give you, okay, so let's say ear. No, let's not do that. Let's do a lemelech. So let me find that name quickly. A lemelech. Where are you? I think that's how you pronounce his name. Um, Naomi's husband. Okay, Elijah. Whatever. We're looking up Elijah. <laughs> so um, first you'll have the, the word here, Elijah. It'll give you what it means. Now, I'm not sure... Well, I know that it's Hebrew, so obviously they will give you the Hebrew definition. But then they would break it down by the life of Elijah, the miracles of Elijah, and then the prophecies of Elijah. And um, I like that. And then it gives you like a quick synopsis of what it is in the scripture. Again, it's not going to have every single verse, every single word, because it is compact. But um, I like it because it comes in handy for my needs. And it's easy to travel with instead of taking a huge concordance with me. So like if I'm going like down south to see my grandmother or my fiance, auntie's house i pack that and i'm good to go and if i need to look up anything else obviously there's a blue letter bible and bible hub but um i really really love this it's just a bible subject index so you have people you have places um i mean it has eight thousand subjects names places things concepts events doctrines of the bible plus 300 word studies so it's a really good um thing this is it combines the features of a concordance topical Bible and a Bible dictionary into one reference book. So I really do love this. Next item. Well, the next two items are actually kind of the same thing, but I'm going to show them individually. So this is the compact Bible handbook from George Knight and James Edwards. And here's what it looks like. And basically this goes through all 66 books of the Bible. Um, and it summarizes every book of the Bible. So you get a summary, a full length of outlining teaching studies um you get charts you get timelines you get kind of like key verses key words key chapters historical settings survey of it um theological contribution to it here's like a timeline chart here um then it goes through the outline and i just i really like this i read this is one of the things that i use if i know that i'm gonna start a new book so like when um what's another book that i want to study i want to study the book of isaiah like so bad but i'm, I'm waiting on that because i feel like the prophets are something i have to read after i read the first five books of law but um if i want to read isaiah i would obviously read all of the introductions in all of my study bibles underlining highlighting marking things then i would go through here read through it underline highlight and mark and um then compile my notes to get like a general but uh, kind of not general. What's the word that I'm looking for? Oh, my God. Um, I can't figure out the words I'm looking for. My brain is like all over the place right now. But what I would do is, you know, compile my notes from all the things that I studied within my study Bibles. Plus this because this has some great stuff. And um, your Bibles, your study Bibles won't always give you like a key verse or a key chapter. This does. And um, I like that it does that. So I like this a lot. And I got this off of Amazon, I think. Either Amazon or ChristianBook.com, I can't remember, but um, I really do like it and I do recommend it. Now, going along with that, I got this one, which is Through the, Bi Through the Bible, Briefing the Bible by Dr. J. Vernon McGee. And it's the same kind of thing as the Bible handbook. Um, it goes through all 66 books of the Bible. And what you get, let me show you guys. You get your kind of basic information, so your writer, your time, your theme, the style. You get the striking statements, which are kind of like, I guess you would say, key verses from there. You would get an outline that goes in depth about it. And, um, you know, sometimes there might be a chart or something. But I really like this for when I am uh, preparing my Bible studies that I do with you guys um, because it really allows me to break it down by theme and topic and, um, know what I'm going to be focusing on. So I really do like this one a lot as well. 
The next thing that I love is this Bible dictionary. It's a compact Bible dictionary from Ronald F. Youngblood, F. F. Bruce, and R. K. Harrison. This is the compact version. And yes, this as well as this come in the Nelson's compact series. Whereas the concordance that I showed you guys comes from this super value series from Nelson. But um, I love Thomas Nelson, if you guys can tell. But um, yeah, this is a really good one. It's a Bible dictionary, and I like this one a lot. I do want to get an illustrated Bible dictionary because um, it has colored pictures and stuff like that. Like, there are pictures within this Bible um, dictionary as well. There are maps and things like that. Oh, that's pretty. This right here shows you, like artifacts and stuff like that so it's not like you don't get photos in this you do but they're not like colored i prefer colored but um this is again another one that i like to travel with if i can and when i'm studying if i don't feel like using my laptop um because sometimes i don't like to have my laptop out i will have this and um it's the same kind of thing where it will break down a word um like brotherly love and bronze serpent it breaks down like what the bronze serpent is and tells you it's you can you can find it in numbers 21 um bride there are like people's people names in here like delilah is in here so it tells you who she is where you can find her at uh the beer deborah decapolis um and i like that it gives you the pronunciation like it uh if you guys can see here it will give you the pronunciation here and sometimes depending on the word it will also break down the greek or hebrew definition so i really do like this a lot so this is a compact bible dictionary the next item is one that i don't use a lot only because i feel like this is for people that are um taking theology or are in seminary school but i do find it that it's a good one to use every now and then and this is the baker compact Dif dictionary of biblical studies this is by tremper longman the third and mark l strauss here's what that looks like and um this is a clear concise and accurate definitions of more than 500 biblical terms and topics so if i come across a term in the bible that i don't understand um or like a term in a book that i don't understand i can most likely come in here and look it up like there's farewell farewell discourse i don't know what that is um etymology i i don't know what it is i've heard of it but this like gives you the breakdown i also like that this breaks down every single um translation like it gives you the meaning so like the english standard version esv tells you about it so it breaks down all the translations again this is not one that i go to a lot um but you have nephilim in here you have the NASB, the NJB, the NJPS, the NIV, things like that. And I find that this is great to look at um, the NRSV, NLT, the NKJV. And it tells you about those different um, things. You have the Nile River in here. So I kind of like this for when I'm looking more in depth, like at like serious biblical things. But um, for like an on the go everyday kind of thing, this is not one that I stick to a lot, but I do find that it's helpful when I need it. So that's that. And the last item is one that I actually love to death. And sorry if you guys are hearing all that noise. I hope not, but my neighbors upstairs are doing something. I'm my landlord, I mean. wow okay but this is cornerstones it's 200 questions and answers to learn truth um by brian dembowsik i don't know how to pronounce his name but what i love about this is you guys can see, i don't know if you can tell the different colors right like you can see the red the green the purple the yellow but um this is broken up into different categories so you have things on god you have things on Jesus, salvation, um, sin, the creation, and it just li literally asks us questions. There's a question and then there's like, you know, the question and the answer. And I use this um, when I'm trying to understand something that I don't understand or if I want to test my knowledge, I will use this. Um, it's not an everyday thing. This is kind of like a once a week kind of to test my knowledge and what I know and what I was able to hold on to. I really do love this book. Um, I actually use this book a lot to play games in the house with my family. We love using this to play games because um, 
it really teaches you a lot. And even if you're an adult, there are some questions in here that you might think you know the answer to, but you don't. Like, um, there's a question pertaining to sin as far as Adam and Eve. Um, where is that question? Is Like, where it asks is, who was responsible for Adam and Eve eating the fruit? A lot of people would say that it was Eve, and then a lot of people would say that it was satan himself because he was the serpent and stuff like that but in all actuality it was both of them and though it might seem trivial and small like the truth is it was both their faults adam and eve because they freely chose to disobey and were responsible for their own sin and it's stuff like that um that we don't really think about we are like quick to think we know the answer to it but we don't so i do like to use this when i'm studying and i'm really going to use this a lot more when i dive into the old testament the laws um because I feel like this is really going to be beneficial for me. There are things on the church in here and um, salvation. And it, I mean, it asks you like definitions, like what does salvation mean and what is um, repentance? And it, it asks you things like that. And you think that you really know the answer. But, um, you know, most of the time we don't know the real answer to these things. There is topics on discipleship, um, topics on the Bible, like I love this book so much. I did get this for review um, a few months ago, a while back. And um, I got it for my son, but I'm in love with this so much that my son can't have it. it it's for me, though I will use it for him, obviously. But um, yeah, that's pretty much everything that I personally use when I am doing my Bible studies. Um, sometimes I have all these books out. Sometimes I'll have some of them out. Sometimes I won't even use them. I'll just use Blue Letter Bible, Bible Hub, and um, my study Bibles. But these are all of the resources and references where I get my notes, my cross references, because I know a lot of you ask me where I get my cross references from. These items here, along with all the study Bibles that I have, that's where I get all of my references and my notes from. Um, I read and I'm, when I'm studying, it's not like a 30 minute kind of study or an hour study. Like I'm in my Bible for hours on one verse. Like it's insane. you guys. If you guys have seen my um my bible studies that i've done for doi you know like i stick for hours in a paragraph just to really break it down and understand it so that i know what the, what the lord is saying and i'm not going to be able to um misuse that scripture or misunderstand the scripture but that is pretty much it as far as what i am studying not studying sorry guys as far as what um i use to help me study and read the bible these are my resources that i use um if you want to see if you want to see a more in-depth video on any of these items let me know i can definitely do that for you guys i have no problem doing that at all um as far as blue letter bible and bible hub i will have a video on those soon i'm gonna do a video walkthrough on how i use each of those but um that is it for this video if you have any comments questions concerns leave them down below in the comment section and i will get to them and i'll see you lovely people on another day Bye.